The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are off to a tea party today as they wrap up their two-day visit to Malaysia. Last night, they were treated to a glittering banquet at the King's Palace. Seven's Adrian Brown is in Kuala Lumpur. And it was another night when Kate dazzled. The event was a dinner at the Istana Negara. That's the Royal Palace here in Kuala Lumpur. It was a dinner hosted by the King of Malaysia. It was an evening dripping with opulence. Kate once more was wearing an Alexander McQueen gown. A lot of online comments today say that it was a bit over the top. She was also wearing four inch high heels. That ensured she almost towered over some of the other guests. Now, in accordance with Islamic tradition, she ensured that the tops of her arms and legs were covered. That wasn't difficult given what she was wearing. And given this is also a predominantly Muslim country, alcohol was not served last night. Instead, guests were offered fruit juice and water, which may well have suited Kate, given that those continuing pregnancy rumours continue to swirl. Earlier, a slight change of tempo. The Duchess uh, went to a hospice, the Malaysia hospice, to deliver what was her first speech on foreign soil. And she chose, she chose a subject very close to her heart, the hospice movement, the welfare of terminally ill people, particularly children. Providing children and their families with a place of support, care and enhancement at a time of great need is simply life-changing. Well, the demanding schedule continues today. There'll be a lunch with business leaders, a walkabout in central Kuala Lumpur, and then this afternoon, a tea at the residence of the British High Commissioner. Tomorrow, the real high point of this visit to Malaysia, a trip to the rainforests of Sabah to see the work being undertaken by scientists in their conservation efforts.